All right. So welcome to another great money talk, guys. If you're ready for a great money talk, I need you guys to light up my screen green in the participant section right now. If you're ready to learn, I need to see my screen green right now. Go in the participant section, light me up green. Let's get the money talk started. Time for us to learn. Light me up green, guys. Light me up green. Get the blood pumping a little bit. Right? Get my blood pumping a little bit because you know, you know I'm about to light it up today. All right. So today, today we're going to talk about debt management, right? And how to learn how for us to manage this debt. And it's so important for us to learn because we want to become debt free. Now, anybody on this line want to be debt free? Anybody? If you want to be debt free, hit yes, right? Let me know if you want to become debt free. Right? Let me know if you want to become debt free. I like to know who like to be debt free. Because if you're debt free, you know, we know that financial freedom is being debt free. Right? Financial freedom is being debt free, owing nobody, no money to nobody. Right? Becoming free. Freedom is debt free. You don't want to be owing nobody. Not when you're in retirement, not when you're young, not when you're older. It doesn't matter. Debt is the new slavery, right? So we don't want that to be any, we don't want anybody to be in slavery, right? I know they have this whole ideology, ideology that, oh, there's good debts, Kian. Isn't a mortgage a good debt? Isn't owning your house better? <laughs> right? <laughs> I know I'm touching, I'm touching, I'm touching, I'm touching the waters. Well, they said they're shredding shredded in, 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 in shallow waters, right? <laughs> well, Ken, is it good to leverage credit to finance a car? It's been better when you own your car. You know that? All right. I won't beat you guys up too bad this morning. But let's talk about being debt-free, though. Debt-free is so important for all of us to learn how to be debt-free and stay debt-free. That's important. And becoming debt-free is actually easy, just like it is easy for you to acquire a lot of debt. Debt is not hard to get out of. It is easy. I want you guys to say with me, I will be debt-free, and it's easy, all right? Just like it's easy to go in debt, it is easy to get out of it. And you know why I say it's easy, guys? Because I know you guys are looking at me like, it's easy to get out of debt. Yeah, it is easy. Because it's easy to make a decision that you want to be debt-free, just like you make a decision to acquire those debts, right? <laughs> it's just as easy, the decision. The same way you made a decision to go into debt, it's the same way it's easy for you to say, hey, I want to get out of debt. It's a decision. So it's easy to make a decision, but it's hard to stay committed, right? Some of the time we are committed to be in debt, but are we committed to be debt free? Right? That's why money talks is important. So let's talk about debt, guys. How we do we eliminate debt? How do we get rid of it? Because it is part of our creating a financial foundation. If you are listening to yesterday, Monday, right, you would have learned that hey, proper protection is important, but the next thing that's important is learning how to manage debt and eliminate them. I don't like the word manage debt. Because debt shouldn't be even be there. Let's talk about debt elimination, right? How to eliminate debt, okay? And how to make sure that we are in control. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the first thing you must do, right? The first thing that you must do in order to eliminate your debt, well, you got to know what kind of debts you have. You must know what kind of debts you have. And the first thing first that is required is that, one, you got to make a list of all your debt, right? You got to make a list of all your debt. And I'm going to show you what it looks like because I'm going to show you when we sit down with our students, our clients. But before that, right? But before that, let's get into this real quick. Let me share with you. I told you I had some visuals for you guys today, right? How many of you guys like visual? Hit me with that yes. If you like visuals, right? So. When we sit down with, with, with our clients and our students, it's important for them to learn the solutions that we have to offer. 
Because a lot of people think that all we offer is financial solutions. No, 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 no. We, we, it's not just about financial products. It's really a lot more. We provide a very, you know, I like to say a prestige concierge service where we sit down with a family and we help them to understand where they are, help them to know where they're trying to go, and pretty much give them a roadmap to follow it, right? Literally. So when we sit down with someone, it's important for them to learn how to pay down their debt and how to build up their credit. So when we sit down with someone, guys, guess what? The first thing we do is that we're going to make a list, right? We're going to make that list, a list of all your debts, all right? That's the first thing we do. The second thing we do is that we're going to organize. We're going to gather all the numbers. What is all that you owe, right? What's all the numbers? What is the interest? All that. We're going to gather all the numbers that we need. What is the minimum payments? What are you paying right now? Right? We're going to gather all of that. And then the third thing is that we're going to strategize, right? Start small, finish big. Right? That's the model. Always remember that. When you're paying down debt, remember, start small, finish big. And we're going to give you some more example of what I mean by that. And then the fourth thing is that you got to mobilize. You got to take massive action. This is what is required to pay down your debts. You got to make the list. You got to be organized. You got to strategize to be mobilized. And mobilize requires you to take massive action. Now, how many of you on this call right now like to take massive action towards your debt, to become debt-free? If you like to take massive action, light me up green so I can know who want to be debt-free. I see Jaime want to be debt-free, massive action. I see Sheree want to be debt-free, massive action. I see Michelle want to be debt-free, massive action. Tiffany want to be massive action. Tony Ann, massive action. Tamiko, a massive action. Swan, massive action, right? You guys want to take massive action. So that means you got to make sure you make the list. Be organized, strategize, so that way we can mobilize with massive action. The same actions that we took to acquire these debt, let's take that same kind of energy and more. If anything, you should be so fired up to say, man, I want to be debt free. I will be debt free. I won't stop until I'm debt free, and I will make sure that everything I want to do, I will live a debt free life because that's what it's all about about. So, so, so what do you want it to be? What's your future going to be like? What is it going to be? I hope it's going to be debt-free. Debt-free, massive cash flow, right? So what else do we do for families when we sit down with them? It doesn't stop there. Of course not. You're talking to Mr. Finance here. We sit down and we actually give you a game plan. We sit down and we give you a game plan, guys. Right? This is what we do for our clients and our students. We sit down with them, and we look at their entire finances, right? Their entire portfolio. And let me give you a mock appointment, right? We're going to do a mock appointment. Let's say I sat down, right, with Tiffany, right? So I sat down with Tiffany. And Tiffany comes to me and she said, Kian, you know, I got some debt. I want to be debt free. I said, okay, Tiffany, no problem. We're going to sit down. We're going to work on this together, right? We're going to give you a game plan. So I said, Tiffany, you got to make sure that you have who is all the creditors that you owe, what is the balance, what is the interest on the balance, and what are the monthly payments that you're making right now, right? So let's say I sat down with Tiffany, and she said, you know, Keon, first thing first, I have a home, right, or the mortgage. And she said, you know, I have a balance of about 100000 left, right? I'm going to put that in, my, in, in the numbers. I'm going to plug in numbers. She said, you know, Keon, my interest on my house is 4%. And my monthly payment is twelve hundred bucks, right? Twelve hundred. So I said, great, got that. Then I said, well, how about the car? She said, well, you know, Ken, I got a car. You know, right now we still got about ten j, ten, ten grand on the car. I said, okay, great, I'll plug that in. She said, well, the interest on my car is about ten percent. I said, great. And I said, what's your monthly payment? She said, three hundred. I said, awesome, got you, right? I'm plugging all this in, guys. Let's say that she has about some student loans, right? She got student loans. Now let's say that she has a student loan of about 30 grand. I'm going to plug that in, 30 grand. All right. Give me a second here. Uh-oh. All right. Let's see. 
me one second, guys. All right, hit me with a yes if you guys still hear me and see me. All right, just check in real quick. Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me still. You can still see everything? All right, awesome. Awesome, just checking in. All right, so student loans. Let's say she has student loan at about 30 grand, right? 30 grand of student loans. And the interest on the student loan, let's say it's about 6%, right? Let's say our monthly payment is about 200 a month right now, right? There it is. And let's say she has only, let's put one more here. She got two credit cards, right? She got two credit cards. I don't know why this is not adding. Give me a second, guys. All right. Here we go. So she has two credit cards. Let's say she has a Visa and a Master. <laughs> it's funny that they call it Master, right? Master cards. What am I spelling here? All right. Master, all right? So now let's say she has a balance on the Visa of, you know, like she's not a big spender, 500. But uh, the, the interest on the, the, the Master is about 20%. And let's say she has 1,000 on her Master card. Interest on that is about, let's say, I don't know, say 17%, right? Let's say that the monthly payment that she's making towards this card right now is 100 bucks, and the other one about 150, right? So here we go. These are the numbers as they sit right now, right? These are the numbers. So as you can see right now, Let's calculate, let's say that I sat down with her, did her budgeting portfolio now, right? And when I sat down with Tiffany, Tiffany was like, you know, Keon, based on everything I put out my budget, I want to put an extra $200 towards my debt. Extra 200, right? On top of what she's already doing. So I said, okay, great. Let me put that number in here. Extra 200. 50 bucks she want to put a week towards the debt. So now, if it was up to Tiffany, and most of the things that people do wrong when they're paying down debt is that the first thing you'll try to do is that you'll try to pay down the debt with the highest number, right? You try to pay down the debt with the highest number first. What if I tell you that is probably not the right way? What if you clear off the smallest debt first, right? So let's run a number. Let's run a number if you put an extra 200 bucks. What that means. I'm going to run a calculator. You guys saw that? All right. So on Tiffany's own, if she didn't come to our program and sat down with us, she have over $141,500 in debt total. She, she was putting in about $1,950 a month towards those debts. And as you can see, the interest it would have cost her, she would have paid over $44,786.48 in interest costs. It would have took her 200 and 78 payments to become debt free. Do you know what that means in years? Let's say 278 payments, and let's divide that, right? Divided by 12. That means it would take her 23 years, 23 years, one month, and six days to become debt free. But because we sat down with her, strategized, and we showed Tiffany just put in an extra $200 towards your debt. Now, same debt, $141,500. She now do a monthly payment of $2,150. And now she would have cut her interest down cost into $21,209.16. She would have become debt free in 76 months, or better yet, 76 payments, right? So, what is 76 payments? 76 payments divided by 12. That gives you six years and 33 and, 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 and three months and three days. So, for, for, for those that are listening, is that a good thing? What you guys think about what we're doing for families when we're teaching them how to become debt-free? This is how you become debt-free. You got to have a plan. You got to sit down with a financial educator. Look at this. We would have saved Tiffany $23,577.32. That's the money she would have kept in her pocket. 
and she would have been debt free within 202 payments earlier. Come on. You tell me what we're doing is not amazing. You thought it was just about finance, did you? Let me show you what it looks like when we print it out for her, right? Let me show you what it looks like. We even provide a, 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 a what we call it, a, 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 um, an actual game plan. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Look, this is the game plan that we would have printed out for Tiffany, right? And Tiffany would have got a game plan. Let me, go, let me show you what I mean. We would have gave her this beautiful thing here, this beautiful file, right? And it would have gave her a month to month. Let's say that Tiffany said, hey, Keon, I want to start this next month or this month, right? August. So August would be first month. So that means she would pay $300 total to the visa because she put that extra $200 on the visa first. Then she would have continued her regular payments for everything else across the board. Then next month, too, you know exactly what to give to the visa. You give visa $211.81. And then the remainder for Massey, you would have gave them $238.19. And then you would have continued to pay the car $300, student loan $200, home $1,200. As you can see, guys, look, it's a game plan. It tells you every month. So in each right of the year, you write August, September, October, November, December. Number five would be December. January would be number six. February would be number seven. So if you continue going down, you see, you would have been that free. Six years. So, guys, this is what we do for families. And this is how we help them to become debt free. My question is, do you want to be debt free? How bad do you want to be debt free? How fast do you want to be debt free? Right? Because it's important that we become debt free. It's not hard to become debt free, guys. This is the reason why I tell you that money talk is here to change lives. But the question is, are you ready for your life to be changed? See, we're doing amazing things for families, guys. Right? So when you gather all your debt in such a fashion, now I just want to ask, doesn't that make it easy? Doesn't becoming debt-free become a lot more easier? You notice that it's not something that you got to figure out. It's just something that you got to know. That's why I tell you, you got to know what is your goal, right? It always comes back down to what Keon always say. You got to know your goal and you got to have a plan. And without a goal, you can't accomplish, you, 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 don't, you, you don't know the plan. It's like, it's like, if you don't know the why, the how won't come. And it's important that we decide, hey, do you want to be debt free? It is a decision, guys. It is a very simple decision that you make. I want to be debt free. So I want you to say this with me. I want to be debt free. I am debt free. I am debt free. I am debt free. I want you to say it with me. I am debt free. Say it again. I am debt free. You got to speak it into existence. You got to put that in the universe. You got you to gotta believe in what's known as law of attraction. What you put out in the universe is what you will bring. What you think about is what you'll be, be about. You got to be. You got to be the person that speak your greatness. You got to speak greatness in your life. You got to speak that you want to be debt free. You got to speak that you want to be financially free. You got to speak that you want to be wealthy. You got to speak it into your life. The Bible says faith without action is death. But it also speak about the fact that the power is within the tongue. So you got to speak. Stop saying I'm broke. Stop saying I can't afford it. Stop it. You got to speak it in your life. You got to believe that you can be it. Say, so if you want to be debt free, just say it. It starts with a decision. Debt free. Freedom is for everyone that choose to be free. But if you want debt, forever be your master. 
then keep using the words, I'm broke. Keep using the words, I can't afford it. Keep saying to yourself, I'm in debt. Say, I am debt free. Even when you're not. Say, I am rich. Even when you're not. Say, I am wealthy. Even when you're not. Say, I am happy. Even when you're sad. Say, I am healthy. Even when you're sick. And you will see all the greatness that come in your life. You got to speak it in your life, guys. You think I came to the top because I, 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 I got by? No, I speak it in myself. I believed in me when no one believed in me. You got to be your biggest cheerleader, man. You deserve to be debt free. You deserve to have financial freedom. You deserve everything that is here for you to get. You have the right to accomplish what is known as freedom, happiness, wealth, and health. It is your God-given right. But you got to claim it. You got to claim it. So, what I want to do, guys, I want to open up the call. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what, what, what's your big takeaway? What actions are you going to take after this to go clear your debts? What actions are you going to take to become wealthy? What actions? I would love for you guys to share. I would love, anybody like to share? Just hit the yes, raise your hands. You know, I will call on you. I want to hear from you guys this morning, man, because I hate the word debt. Don't let nobody fool you that you have to be in debt in order to become wealthy. It doesn't work that way. You don't have to go in debt to become wealthy. You don't. You can just be wealthy and be debt free. So I will call on Miss Beverly Williams first. Good morning, Miss Beverly, how you doing? You're live. Good morning, good morning, Ken. Good morning, everyone. I just want to say you are on fire with the positive reinforcement there. You are telling us to speak it into existence, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Money talk is always great every morning, so I just wanted to say I love the positive reinforcement. Yes, we should all speak it into our Self and be our best cheerleader. That's my takeaway this morning. Wow, powerful. And thank you for that awesome share, Miss Beverly. I think we have Tony and then we have Miss Victoria next. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you loud and clear. Good morning. Perfect. Um, I agree with Miss Beverly. Um, you know, the positive reinforcement is always awesome. And, you know, one of the things that really resonates with me is that, you know, the way you speak to yourself, your soul doesn't know the difference, whether you speak positively or negatively, even if you're joking, you know, so I really do believe in speaking to yourself in a positive way, in a positive light. And I appreciate you, you know, for always doing that. And, you know, like you said, encouraging us to be our biggest cheerleader and also being one of um, our biggest cheerleaders, you know, so Money Talk is always amazing and you're the best. And thank you for lighting me up this morning and, you know, have a wonderful day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in, Tony. And we, we got to be our biggest cheerleader, man. Nobody's going to cheer you to the top but for you. You got to be your biggest hype man, the biggest. Everybody, I'm telling you guys right now, telling you, I cheered my way to the top. Victoria Gordon, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got on a little late, but it's still a blessed morning. Powerful, powerful. Oh, I think we lost you a little bit. Ms. Gordon, you there? I think your signal dropped. All right. Oh, you're back. I'm back? Yes, I missed everything earlier. Oh, okay. Powerful, powerful, powerful speech. I, I, I love it when I also hear it resonated. The word of the Lord, death and life is in the power of the tongue. 
I thank you for the empowering uh, positive. I disagree with, ev I agree with everything that everyone have said, but I want to tell you something since I've been on this call, I got a little testimony and be to, about eliminating debt. And I had eliminated quite a bit of debt just from in the last two months I've been on these calls and uh, being a part of this campaign, I had got a bill and I was like, wait a minute, I paid these property taxes and they were trying to dispute me. That's why I don't throw nothing away. My mama taught me real well. And I was like, well, I paid this. This is for 2019. And they were like, well, there was an error, but you're still going to have to pay into uh, rectified. Um, otherwise, it's going to go to the, the credit bureau and that'll mess with my score. So I said, no problem. I will fax you over all the paperwork that is needed. And but my point is this, if it wasn't for money talk, I had saved enough money that I could cover that 400 and something dollar property taxes until everything is clear. They said it takes about six months to clear it. They will reimburse me. But in the meanwhile, doing, due to the error, you know, uh, I will be reimbursed so long as I got my paperwork. But my point is, I had the money to cover it. Wow. Wow. Guys, <laughs> let me tell you, man, money talk, Miss Gordon, I'm so happy to hear that. I am so happy because that's what it's like. That's what it's like, guys. That's what money talk is about. Money talk is about empowering the people so that way they can empower themselves. I'm telling you, you can't prove me wrong. You can only prove me right because I already think you're great. I already think that every one of you is great. I don't have to meet you nor know you to know that you're great. I know you're great. Prove me right. Prove me right. I think we have Miss Swan and then Miss Sheila. Hey, good morning, Keon and everyone. Great testimony, Miss Victoria, and great sharing um, to the other ladies. Um, yes, I just want to say that um, where you say you pay down your debt and you build up your credit, it really works because prior to WSB, my credit has always been like in the low 500s. And I just never took the time to fix it and um, thinking it would be hard or whatever. But since joining WSB and learning all this information and definitely with the money talks, my credit score is now almost 700 and I'm very mm. excited about that. And um, because I know I'm on my way to a great credit score because I wanna purchase a house and for rental property and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's just the money talks are amazing. You are empowering us. It is just so phenomenal. We appreciate your training as usual every morning because you don't have to do this. And um, it really help, it's really helping us all based on our testimonies. And I just can't wait to, I'm totally debt free, but I'm going to claim it until it happens. And I'm almost there. Thank you so much for letting me share. Thank you for that powerful share, Swan. And you can do it. You already did it. Just keep claiming it. Good morning, Ms. Sheila. Hey, good morning, everyone. Another amazing money talk call. You got me so fired up this morning. You know, I was um, reaching out to people on uh, Facebook um, last night, and this girl uh, responded to me this morning and because she had asked me uh, how long was a, uh, a, an, an educational session. And I said about 30 to 40 minutes. And she was like, nah, okay, well, I'm good. You know, that's too long. And, and I started laughing because, and then I'm laughing even more at her because I'm, look, I'm, I'm on this call listening to this information about 35 minutes. And oh my gosh, like to be debt free, to have a plan, to have a goal, and to have tools that we can help people put these things in play. You ain't got 30, 40 minutes, it's too long. Oh my gosh. I know that I used to feel that way, but since I got 
connected with this campaign and to Money Talks especially. You know, the things that I am, I am able to do now, I would have never done. And I felt that way. I was like, oh, you know, that's too long. No, I'm good. But oh my gosh, the uh, money is power and knowledge is, and, and money, money uh, education is power because you are able to, you know, put some things in place, open up some understanding. I mean, just do some amazing things that, you know, you probably never even thought about. Uh, I, I uh, agree uh, with Swan, like my credit score was always in the low 500s and stuff, but because I'm paying off things, I'm rolling it up. I am, you know, b budgeting, making plans. Like I got plans and goals now that are attainable. Like I dreamed of this, but had no plan of how to get there. I'm so thankful for Money Talks. I'm so thankful for, um, what we do and then i had a another gentleman he was like you know on uh, him and his wife is on this uh financial plan you know and they good and i said really i was like um uh did your person talk to you about tax advantage vehicles and he was like what's that i said aha here's the link to money talk come join money talk i'm so excited about what we do guys because people think they know and they think just because they are taught you know they got a financial advisor or they got a plan that they good but they not because they don't know their right. financial person know but they don't know so that's why i'm so excited and pumped <laughs> this morning because i have confidence in what I'm doing. I know that what I'm doing is good and I have the tools and the understanding now to challenge that stuff now. Not in no negative, uh, argumentative kind of way, but just pose the question. Really? Um, is it tax advantage vehicle? What's that? Uh oh, okay. So I'm just so thankful for everything, for the positivity, for just to, you know, to say that I I am debt free, I am a rich, I am happy. I I mean, my uh, affirmations are off the chain, and I just love, love, love these monetized. Keon, thank you so much for everything that you do for us for these calls in the morning because you are giving stuff that is just priceless, and I'm just appreciative and thank you so much. I thank you. You guys are my motivation. Every last one of you. Every last one of you. Uh, Tiffany, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. OMG, this is some powerful sharing this morning. So I just had to say that I love this call this morning. I'm so down with debt elimination. There are a lot of things that were said today. And I'm just going to piggyback off of Sheila. You know, a lot of us are told what to do and not taught what to do. And Money Talk mm. teaches you. And the one thing, Keon, that you said today that I think makes a world of difference is that we have choices. It's easy to make the choice, but the commitment is where it becomes difficult. And that's why I like Money Talk, because Money Talk is going to get your mind right. It's going to get your mind in, in a debt-free mindset, right? So not only are you making the choice to be debt-free and speaking it out, but the more you come on Money Talk, the more you're going to commit to taking those steps of action, right? And knowledge, yeah, knowledge is power, but empowered knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Knowledge put into action, that's power right there, right? When you start seeing the, the, the results of, the, of a free Money Talk call, okay? And everybody on this call has a testimony, including myself, about what Money Talk has done for them. And this right here is just the tip of the iceberg. So I'm so excited for today. I'm excited to share on my social media about debt elimination, right? Now, if I was like 80 getting ready to kick the bucket, yes, I'll be all about debt management, but <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> okay? So I'm all about debt elimination. And it's so funny, I was speaking it, my kids were hearing me say, I'm debt free, I'm debt free. And my son said, oh, what's debt? And they're saying it with me. I'm debt free, I'm debt free. So I said, that's when you owe somebody money. Oh, but you owe people money, yes, but you're not gonna do that, <laughs> right? Right. So it's becoming like teachable moments. And they hear me on the Money Talk call, they're listening in. We talk about financial foundation with them. And I mean, it's just beautiful that they're getting this early. They don't have to worry about that not worry about it, but they don't have to make those choices 
and they don't have to commit to a lifestyle of debt. So I just want to say thank you again for Money Talk Calls. And everybody that's not on it and that's rejected, they're just missing out, you know? But their time will come. So thank you for letting me share. Man, let me tell you guys, I'm, I'm just so, you know, every time I was, I'll, I'll give you guys this and I'll close out. I had someone once ask me why I do what I do. And I tell them, because it's the right thing to do. I tell them it's the thing that everybody should do. When you are born, you must know what's your reason for being on earth. But once you know your purpose, you fulfill them. And if you don't know yet, let me give you a little insight. When you are put on this earth, you're put on this earth to make a mark. You're gonna make a mark of either two things. You're gonna be remembered for all the things that you've contributed into others, or you'll be known for what you've taken from others. Those are the two things you could leave a legacy on. It's a choice. You'll be known as the taker, or you'll be known as the giver. Or maybe you'll be known as the person that did either one. You just stayed right here, silent, did nothing. Right? So when you think about it, which one you want to be going out as? I remember when my grandpa died. To this day, his blessings of giving have rained down on my mother, on her kids, and my kids, and her siblings. And there, and it's just a <laughs> it's a it's a generation of giving that continues after that. So give when you never receive. Love when you always hate it. Forgive even when they don't forgive you. And if you live a life of giving, <laughs> I don't want to sound like a preacher, but he will give on to you. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Don't live your life. Preach. Don't you ever live your life waiting for the acceptance or the gift of man. There's something higher than that. So just remember, and I'll leave you with this, you are one decision away from changing your future. So always remember, the choice is always yours. Thank you guys for tuning in on Money Talk this morning. Hope you got a lot. Tomorrow, it gets even better. Because tomorrow we'll talk about emergency fund. And if you like debt elimination today, wait until you see emergency fund. So the count of three, let's all wish out, guys. Let's get the day started. Campaigners that we have Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Do not miss the webinar, all right? Let's have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the count of three. Let's all wish out. One, two, three. Let's wish, guys. Good day, everybody. Have a good day, everybody. Be safe in the storm.